Animals must be off the menu because tonight they are screaming in terror in the slaughterhouses, in crates and in cages. Vile, ignoble gulags of despair. You see, I heard the screams of my dying father as his body was ravaged by the cancer that killed him. And I realized I'd heard those screams before. In the slaughterhouse, their eyes stabbed out and their tendons slashed on the cattle ships to the Middle East and the dying mother whale as a harpoon explodes in her brain as she calls out to her calf. Their cries were the cries of my father. And I discovered that when we suffer, we suffer as equals. And in their capacity to suffer, a dog is a pig, is a bear, is a boy. boy. CO2, methane and nitrous oxide from the livestock industry are killing our oceans with acidic, hypoxic dead zones. 90% of small fish are ground up into pellets to feed to livestock. Vegetarian cows today are the world's largest ocean predators. The oceans are dying in our time. By 2048, all our fisheries will be dead, the lungs and the arteries of the earth. Billions of bouncy little chicks are ground up alive simply because they are male. Only 100 billion people have ever lived. Seven billion people live today. And yet we torture and kill two billion sentient living beings every week. 10,000 entire species are wiped out every year because of the actions of one. And we are now facing the sixth mass extinction in cosmological history. If any other organism did this, a biologist would call him a virus. It is a crime against humanity of unimaginable proportions. Water, as you know, is the new oil. Nations will soon be going to war for it. Underground aquifers that took millions of years to fill are now running dry. It takes 50,000 liters of precious drinking water to make one kilo of beef. Today, one billion people are hungry. 20 million people will die from malnutrition. Cutting meat by only 10% will feed 100 million people, and eliminating meat will end starvation forever. As I travel around the world, I see poor countries who sell their grain to the West while their own children starve in their arms, and the West feeds it to livestock so we can eat a steak. steak, 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 steak Am I the steak, only steak, one who sees this as a crime, 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 crime? Believe me, every morsel of meat we eat is slapping the tear-stained face of a hungry child. When I look into her eyes, do I remain silent? The earth can produce enough food for everyone's need, but not enough for everyone's greed. We are facing the perfect storm. We are we facing, are facing the, perfect the perfect storm. storm. Victor Hugo said there is nothing more powerful than an idea whose time has come. Well, animal rights today is now the greatest social justice issue since the abolition of slavery. Sir George Bush was wrong. The axis of evil does not run through Iraq, Iran, or North Korea. It runs through our dining tables. Weapons of mass destruction are our knives and forks. There is unimaginable terror in those ghastly Guantanamos we call factory farms or slaughterhouses. Believe me, if slaughterhouses had glass walls, we wouldn't be having this debate tonight. You see, I believe another world is possible. And on a quiet night, I can hear her breathing. Let's get animals off the menu and out of these torture chambers. Please vote tonight for those who have no voice. No voice. 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 voice.